Hello, hello YouTube, my name is Mitzer and welcome back to some more Pokemon Renegade Platinum. Last we left off, I had just gotten my encounter at the Valley of Windworks, being Tesla to Magnemite. And I decided to do some grinding off screen, got everybody to level 20. And um, Laugh Tail ended up evolving off screen because I completely forgot that he evolved at level 18. I, I honestly very much apologize for this. I hate evolving stuff off screen because I really like having the videos have an evolution in them. It gives a little bit more of an event to it. But he also learned to bulldoze, so I got rid of his absorb for that. And yeah, everybody's level 20. I think Tweed got some new moves. He got Pin Missile and Pursuit over Fury Attack and Twin Needle. I taught Tesla Shockwave over Thundershock and he they learned Charge Beam and I got rid of the uh, Spark for that. And I don't think Alphonse got anything new. Nope, nothing new on Alphonse and I don't think there's anything new on Esmeralda as well. Oh no, Esmeralda got Swift. That's right. At least I'm pretty sure. Either way, we're gonna continue on here. I realize there's a part where I missed an encounter. And I realized while I was grinding, I could go there. So I decided to avoid it. The reason I got to level 20, by the way, is because I'm pretty sure the boss in this part of the game is like level 22 or something like that. Razor Leaf should do enough. Mm -hmm. I might miss now. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Good thing I went for Bulldoze. Predicted, even though it wasn't predicted. Laugh Tail is uh, doing work. Houndor? Honestly, I should be okay. I would assume it's like level 15 at max. No, it's not even level 15, it's 14. I'm just gonna go for a bulldoze again. Smog. Interesting, considering you're a fire type, you'd, I think you'd go for like Ember or something. One shot? Okay, let's go. I might be a little over leveled for these particular battles. But these battles are gonna get me to to the uh, the right level to fight the boss, because in the regular game I'm pretty sure it's like Mars or somebody who's in here and they um they're level 22 uh, per ugly or something like that. Okay. So he told me to go to the... Go mess with the ones with the... With the flower patch. Honestly, I think it'll be good to have Tesla in particular for this because being part steel type, they can um, kind of just ignore a lot of the damage that'll be coming through because a lot of Team Galactic stuff is poison and uh, normal. I just gotta be wary of the Skun Tank because the Skun Tank gets Flamethrower very early on. Also, this is where I said uh, where I said earlier that I could have got an encounter. So, new encounter here. Please be a flying type. Hmm. Well, not a flying type. Uh. If you're bug poison, you know what? I'll just go into Tesla in 
click Sonic Boom because I'm pretty sure you have more than 20 health. And I can just Sonic Boom you, then paralyze you, and go from there. Well, it's not a new team member because I'm pretty sure it's primary bug. Which kind of saddens me. Unless it's primary poison, then it's a different story. I almost clicked Shockwave. That would have been so horrible. Alright. This Pokeball hopefully should catch it. Can't really do much else to it. I was hoping the Sonic Boom would put it more closer to the red. But. I still caught it, which is nice. Are you primary bug? I'm almost positive you are, right? Yeah, so it's not a new squad member. Um, Venonat? Gonna name it after a Yu-Gi-Oh card. in the uh, in the box you know I'm not like upset with this encounter it's a new encounter and it's a backup mod the only thing I'm sad about is like why am I getting so many backup bug types can I get like a backup a backup grass type or like a backup a backup ground type I can't really ask for a backup electric type considering this is the first time I was allowed to come across electric types. Alright, well, let's go bug these guys over here. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're uh, giving the old man the beatdown, right? Is that what's going on? Ganging up on an old man? Pretty sure, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I should not be leading with uh, Laugh Tail right here. Or Esmeralda, actually. Uh, wait, does Bulldoze hit? Bulldoze hits everybody. Um. Well, I'm definitely gonna switch. Tesla there and Tweed? Yeah, I think Tweed should be okay. Nice, the poison fang and the poison sing don't affect Tesla. That uh, shockwave on the Zubat, and I'll go for pin missile on the Krogunk. Oh, it did nothing. Come on, I uh, say hit more than two times. That's all I want. The shockwave though should take out the Zubat in one hit. Realistically, yeah. There we go. It's actually fantastic. Though Krogung's probably got a fighting type move to hit Tesla with. Mud Slap. I don't like that. Because now I'm, I mean, at least I have a move that does not check accuracy. Hmm. Well, Krogunk is gonna go down. Um I'm gonna use pin missile on the Krogunk as well, just to make sure that Tesla takes it out with the Shockwave. 
you know, it'd be fantastic to be if you hit more than twice. Let's go. Okay, Crowbone goes down. No more mud slap shenanigans. Mega Drain? Um. Yeah, you know, forget Bite. Bite's good, but I don't necessarily need it. type so just keep doing what I was doing not really tag teaming but like just keep using the same moves I was using hit more than twice thank you hit four times oh if you would have hit four times that would have took it out a little late to be using reflect Considering it's not going to matter much, because I have a special attacker on the board that's doing most of my work. Their leads were initially quite scary, but in all honesty, eh, they're just grunts. They're, but their leads were scary because that Krogunk beat both my Esmeralda and the Grottle. Because it definitely had a poison move and a fighting type move. Though I think it went for the mud slap because it was quite effective against Tesla. Right, it wasn't. Isn't this in the normal game? Two 1v1s? Or, was, or is this always a double battle? B. I forget because I haven't. Like I said, I haven't played. Platinum in oh god I don't even know how long I haven't played platinum since I don't even know like I, I'm, I'm genuinely trying to think I don't remember the last time I played platinum it was it was a while after release so I feel like summers in 2013 or something like that But, still, that's 10 years ago? Like, it's kind of ridiculous, yeah? But on our way back to the Valley Windworks. Didn't believe we'd get in from here, eh? If it's the Scun Tank or the Per Ugly here, I'm hoping it's the Per Ugly. Oh, you know what? It's probably both. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a double battle with another boss. Well, my Bulldoze should be enough to just one shot this. Another reason I want a flying type is for double battles when I have Laugh Tail or Alfonso. I can just spam. Um, just spam bulldoze and not have to worry about my flying type taking damage because it's immune. See now, coughing has levitate. So Tesla's the play. Shockwave. I don't have to worry about accuracy. Oh, I was gonna mention this a while ago too when I said I replaced Thundershock. I, when I was grinding, I, every single Thundershock except for one. And mind you, I had hit by a lot of Thundershocks because every single Mon in the Bali Windworks uh, spot seems to be an electric type. And they all have Thundershock. 
every single Thundershock, save for two, sorry, not just one, two, paralyzed me. Every single one. I don't know why. It makes no sense. Every single one of them paralyzed. I'm also gonna pause the recording real quick and uh, I'll be right back. I just wanna save time in the recording itself for uh, healing. And we're back. But yeah, as I was saying, every single Thundershock that hit me, I got paralyzed by it. Except for two. And it's, it was so insane. Like, I started to think that Thundershock had an increased paralyzed chance for whatever reason. But I don't think it does. Kakuna. Uh, I think a Boldo is, is enough. I'm also gonna start doing uh, what I just did more often to save like very little bit of time I can in, uh, from saving a very little bit of time I can from having to run back to the Poke Center and run all the way back here just to heal. Just don't use something like. Explosion. Oh wait, that's right, you bug type. Wait, why did it do nothing though? Oh yeah, that's right. It uh, didn't more to the Kakuna because Kakuna's part poison. Nothing. Oh my. Switch to Tesla. Come on. There we go. That should take it down. Bop. Oh, I don't think the crit mattered. Metapod. I'll just leave Tesla in. In all honesty though, thinking about it now, if it is the Skun Tank that I'm about to fight and not the Perugly, I just have to remember to switch to Alphonse. heal real quick again all right and we're back but yeah okay it doesn't look like it's gonna be a double battle so it's just Mars I think yeah it's just Mars this fight may be a little difficult but I should be okay Zubat interesting lead um, definitely gonna just switch to Tesla here I don't think this Zubat really has anything that can touch Tesla yeah toxic doesn't do anything I'm just gonna click shockwave wing attack that's not gonna do anything either I mean if you had bite and bites like the best option it has yeah, just one shot. No biggie there. Yanma? Nah, I'm gonna stay in with Tesla. Just gotta remember if it's the Skun Tank to switch to Alphonse. Speed boost. Okay, that's what you're doing this far. Sonic Boom? Oh. That's actually super unfortunate that it missed. Because that probably would have mattered. Just for the damage. But. Happens. Good 
good chunky EXP to Tesla. Progly. Um, now see, I don't think it has a fighting type move. So I'm, think I'm just gonna stay in with Tesla. Oh, it's 19. I genuinely thought it was like 22. Maybe you're thinking of something different. Maybe another, a, a different fight. I also thought that faint attack was gonna do a hell of a lot more. But it took no damage. Alright, well, I'm gonna heal with a potion. Yeah, just a regular potion, just because I wanna see how much this faint attack is gonna do. Like, genuinely. I didn't really look at it. Alright, 15. I'm gonna try and bear it. Nice, the T-Wave landed. It's beautiful. So now I'm gonna heal with a super potion. And I'm just gonna spam shockwaves. Hoping and praying that this thing just gets paired. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, well, I gotta just... I actually gotta hope and pray for a pair now. So that I can get a free turn. Oh, let's go. It went for hypnosis. I did not think this thing had facade. I'm so glad that it does not do enough to straight up one shot. Citrus? Yeah. Let's go, Para. Oh, Tesla, you are a wonderful, wonderful encounter. You are doing absolutely wonders for me. You know, this will tell me if it has guts. Is that more than 15? It's 16, so no, I don't think it has guts. I, I really don't. Nah, it doesn't have guts. Drayano didn't do that. If it, if it would've had guts, Drayano would've gave it a flame orb. Huge chunky EXP for Tesla. Bronzor? Um. Ironically, I think Laugh Tail is my best option. I'm gonna go for the Bulldoze. Test to see it has if it has levitate. It does. Okay. Now just spam razor leaves. Oh, actually, you know what? It doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Esmeralda has bite. For a dark type move. Oh, the hypnosis finally landed. Good thing I have a Chesto Berry. Don't you dare go for hypnosis again like a dummy. Extra sense of that. It's gonna do a lot, actually, I think. No, that didn't do anything. Nowhere near as much as I thought it was going to. Flinch it, please. Can I flinch it, please? What's with all these citrus berries, man?
Well, at least I beat the fight. Alright, well that's Mars down. I'm the only planet in our solar system that can be a person. You're not allowed to help this... Well, no, I don't even know what I was gonna say there. But, <laughs> we're gonna end the episode there. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Oh, well, actually, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get through this dialogue real quick first, and then I'll end the episode. There we go. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Make sure to have yourselves a great day, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.